know how this works. Do I sing? I 16 bars? What happens? Broadway was always a goal. When I was 10 years old, my uncle Carrie asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up, Bobby? And I, <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll fix him. I said, I want to be a costume designer on Broadway. And his eyes rolled back in his head and he just walked away. Here I am, you know, 70 years later, and I got my first Tony. It's funny, when, it was, when the play was announced, I remember thinking, like, what little lucky eight-year-old girl is going to get to play that part? And then I was like, I'm gonna steal that part from that eight-year-old little girl. Somebody asked me, they were like, do awards matter? And I was like, well, I'll let you know when I get one. So I'll have a better answer to that now. I mean, obviously I'm pretty excited. I felt successful. I felt a, a kind of completion because I wasn't going to leave Broadway until they gave me what I thought I deserved. <laughs> now that I have received my first Tony Award. I now realize that the greater work that I want to achieve is ahead of me. Now I can go about my next 73 years doing what satisfies Andre. Well, when I go to my therapist, we will talk about that. Um, it's really amazing just because it is something you don't work for the award, but it is always that hope, that wish, that dream, that goal. I quit this business at least two, three times a year, and yet I still stand here because of the people who love me, and I know it all takes endurance and tenacity, and you know, not to bring it back to Cher, but that was one of the reasons why I said yes to play her. Her tenacity and her resilience and never giving up on whatever life throws at her has brought me here. I'm just so grateful. <laughs>